hello everyone welcome to my channel in this tutorial i will let you know about the commands awk pipe grab find command and for loop guys these commands are very important because uh, what system administrator do like uh, they they run multiple command at the same time this make their work very easy and simple because if you are new and fresh definitely you won't know how to use this command so you will run one by one command which is time consuming and is going to take lot of time for you so to make your uh, work faster you need to use all these functions to make to, uh, to make it in a better way so let's start my virtual machine is already on and the IP address for this is 192.168.105 so let's let's say for example you have to create multiple files like 10 files so you can do test 1 test 2 test 4 test 5 so by this way definitely you can create but uh, it's not an easier way let's say you have to create the hundred of files it will be very difficult so what we can do we can use for command where i is the argument okay let me clear for command i is the argument in so one till ten that means one to ten so so it will take one first time then two then second time three third time and by this way till 10 it will take one by one now what you have to do for, for each and every argument do and what you want to do you want to create touch okay I'll do one thing file I want to keep all the file name as file 1 file 2 file 3 so dollar i here i meaning is first it will take one as a i it will put it here then two as i then it will be file two then three in i then it will be uh, three file so likewise it will go by go till ten then done okay now our command executed see uh, in one attempt test one two three four five six seven eight all the files we had created I think okay these are test file this is test one file one two th three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now let's say you want to remove all this file in one attempt what you will do you need to do one thing rm file one then file two then file three and so on which is also again time consuming do one thing mention the same argument do rm and file dollar i done let's see whether the files are there or not okay it's gone no more file 1 to 10 files okay so guys this is uh, by this way you can do any of the thing let's say you want to do you want to ls space hyphen ltr test so we don't have six, seven, eight, nine. So it's it's haven't executed. So just make it five. See, you can you can do ls space hyphen ltr. Let's say you want to change the permissions for this. So very simple. Ch mode. This ch mode uh, change permissions. I will give you tutorial next video. So six, six, six. See, there is no right read write read write read write read write here is only read 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 let me change the permissions then you can see see now read write exit read write read write read write read write so so your permission change from 644 to 6 triple 6 okay now change it back because it's not uh, good to keep these permissions like this 644 uh, okay so now we had done this function we will come to the next uh, command which is awk let's say you have a you wanted to list these are the number of files let's say you have hundred of files and you only want to see this name what you will do ls space hyphen ltr awk print 
dollar okay Th this section is one this is two three this is column four five six seven eight nine so this is nine column press nine enter see you can see all the files name here okay now let's say you want to grab okay, let me copy this grab symbol you want to grab only test related file grab it's not okay scrap then ts test see you can see only test one two three four five so see uh, if you are not familiar all this function what is it, how to use this one definitely you will run ls space hyphen ltr then you you it will be very bit challenging for you to get only this file name from the particular locations so let's say you want to do any of the functions here you can do it um, for i now we will run the loop command this this symbol this is just behind your escape button down there is a button escape and just down there is a this kind of symbol apostrophe i think this is no apostrophe this is apostrophe okay then copy this all command close this one enter do what do you want to do ls space hyphen ltr dollar i then i want to list first okay because i want to verify whether with before doing any of the function i'm doing the correct thing or not so yes i i can only list one two three four five files now don't list anything uh, you can remove these files as well okay now just check whether this files test file is there or not so well as now see no more files so what you have done this commands output which was this one two three four file five name one two three four five you have taken in i argument one by one file i and then you have done ls space f and ltr if files available if files available then you have done remove so any of the functions you can perform and it's like a kind of a automations automatic deletion of number of files at a one time so this makes your task and work very easy now come back to the find command okay so let's say uh, first we do one thing history grab four so i want to touch one to ten file i'll do one thing 149 okay done so this is also one of the method you just grab the history what whatever this number just put a sign of explanation in front of this and type the number whatever you want to run it will automatically run this command for you now you can see file 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 till 10 is created for you okay now you do one thing use the find first i need to let you know about the syntax for file sy find syntax find that's the uh, location then argument argument can be anything and then value so find let's say location is uh, slash root okay i can make any slash then by name i want to search file number nine okay let's run this command oh i have a number of um 
okay i think main important thing is showing permission denied because i need to use this command as sudo now i have to enter password of my user account bits so many number 9 9999 okay now we do one thing we will change the directory bits instead of root we do home bida bida nine so we have only one file so one file what you you can do e x e c l s space hyphen l t r and this one e x okay now it's listing this file you want to change permissions now you can do any of uh, c h mode 64666 here the permission is read write read read so now let's wait let's list read write read write read write so this find command is very very mo most important let's say you want to find any of the any of the file any of the file with the name 9 under that particular locations and after searching this you run this command whatever functions whatever the input of this command will be it will executed in that format you need to learn this syntax okay so guys hope you will like this video and for more videos please subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care